parts three and four of the self of speaking are very difficult because it's a confusion. For example, in this picture, which things I should talk about, who should I ignore, and do I say everything? If I do say everything, how do I express everything? I mean, it's too many things happening. And I selected this picture on purpose because it is very detailed and very confusing. A lot going on here. So part three question, if you don't already know, is about telling or describing what happens in the picture. Part four is about what do you think happens next in the picture? So we'll talk about that and discuss the strategies for it, how to answer that effectively. So with, when we start with part three, the and also in part four, the one thing you guys wanna understand is you don't wanna make more than three to four major points. The rest of them can be explained in general sentences. Here's what I mean. If I see this picture and I have 30 seconds of preparation, I see that, all right, here there's a family and they're just maybe reuniting after a long time, okay? There's this guy, okay, he's interesting. He is a cowboy apparently and is uh, tying a rope around his luggage and getting the luggage there. But it's just one guy, so I don't think it's a major point. I would rather talk about these people. Uh, they, they're a bigger family, three people, and I can talk about how they're waiting for their luggage. However, it's not, again, very interesting. Like, they're just waiting for their luggage, but, you know, I do see this, and you can see where my mouse is moving. I can see this as a big uh, area of the picture that is being covered. I can also talk about this robot. This robot is uh, very advanced, and we, we never see that, so that's unique. I can mention that, and this kid is looking at it, so, Little, he's a little surprised and that also covers a bigger area than just one person. Uh, and what about these people? They also cover a big area, but I don't really know how to describe it. Like what is really happening here? This guy is looking at the, this and you can call it apples or pears. It doesn't matter. Whatever you say the picture is, it is that. The actual content doesn't matter as long as it makes sense. Uh, how you describe it is all that matters. The words you use. Okay. So this could be something I could explain too, but that's too many points. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick my three things. These people here, the robot here, and this family uniting. And this one, I'm gonna have as a backup. I'm gonna say this is my point number four. It depends on the time I have. If I have lots of time, I can talk about this more. If not, I will generalize it. Okay, so if it comes to generalizing, you know, this part, this family and the other people around, I would say something like, while the others are waiting for their luggage or just, uh, they, they look like normal folks or people who would be having a normal day at the airport, with the exception of the cowboy. Okay, I'll just insert it there because that is not normal, okay? Uh, but, but that's how I would generalize everybody, not really say a lot and talk a lot about all those people. In the parts three and part four, part four you have um, the two sentences in the background and foreground. You can't really say that here because it's like a circle, so that strategy is also gonna go away. Um, so we're gonna ignore that. And what we also wanna focus on is using some complex sentences to define multiple things happening. For example, instead of me saying that, uh, let, let's say I'm talking about this guy, instead of me saying that there's a cowboy who is uh, putting his rope around his luggage, uh, the luggage is also shaped like uh, an animal, and uh, it is awkward. Instead of me making two sentences like this, I could say, moreover, there's a cowboy who is tying a rope around his luggage, which literally looks like an animal. So by using the word which, I can connect multiple things. So I do want to use my complex sentences and that will help me say multiple things quickly. Okay, uh, so let's do an answer here. I'm also going to use my range of vocab, adjectives, adverbs, fancy vocabulary. Connectors are very important. So things like furthermore, moreover, all those great things. I'm going to use that and let's get started. Okay, we're going to do one minute. I'm going to cover the three to four main points and then generalize the rest. Okay, uh, let's see my time. In this picture, I can see the scene of an airport, which is very awkward for many reasons. Let's talk about things that are normal. For example, on the bottom right-hand side, we see a family of three casually waiting for their luggage, looking pretty contented and satisfied. On the other hand, towards the left, we have an even happier family, glad to see each other with white smiles on their faces, just reuniting, that's a family of four, a nuclear family right there, but just behind them, we see a robot 
which is quite surprising since not only is the robot actually functioning, but also drawing attention from a kid right next to it. Finally, towards the top, we see a family of four, mom and dad and two kids, getting a bag of fruits, as it seems. Overall, this is a pretty normal scene at an airport, with the exception of the cowboy, literally pulling a rope around his luggage, which is dressed or shaped like an animal. That's what I can see in this picture. Okay, so I did find the time to talk about this one here, the, the family here. You can see I linked um, some of these things and how I linked them was from here, I went, okay, this is a normal family, but this one is even happier. So using the uh, relationship, okay, this is better than this, or just comparing, just to add more range of vocab, comparisons, and adjectives. And then I said, this is normal, they look good, but uh, this one, this guy is weird, there's a robot there. So I went, but, and then that. Um, and I used the word not only there. So not only is he very advanced and doing things, but also this guy is looking at the robot and is, is astonished, the kid. So by using those connectors, not only will I get my marks for the complex sentences, but also, and I'm doing this again, but also I'll be getting the uh, things, the, the, the content in the picture in a lot of, in, in a very short amount of time. So I'll be getting a lot of people uh, and um, items in the picture said in a few seconds by using these connectors and complex sentences. At this point, I was looking at my time and I had plenty of time, so I did talk about these guys. And finally, I wrapped it up by talking about everybody else in general terms, okay? Um, there are quite a few more things happening. If you see, there's a canoe that is coming out of this uh, luggage belt, rare, you can talk about that. But again, if you talk about this, which is weird, you talk about this, which is literally like a tiny human being. I don't know if it's a toy, but it looks very realistic. And even the luggage with a dot popping out and, and all these things, you, you don't want to focus on the little things because they don't cover most of the picture. So you focus on three to four major points that will ensure you cover most of the picture and that will ensure your marks for task response more importantly because the examiner will not say that the picture was not discussed. So you cover most of the main things happening and then you use one or two sentences to wrap up everything else. Uh, we have a detailed version of every speaking part. This is just going to be an eight minute video, but if you want a detailed version of every speaking part, check out our course in the description. The link is available and right now it's at a discount. That's where we cover all the words you need to use with many sample examples with very detailed templates that you don't see on YouTube, all included in the course. So check that out. And we'll be doing a part five on this too, sorry, part four on the same picture, prediction, what happens next. That's gonna be the next section of this video. But I hope for now this helps you understand what to do in part three describing the picture. All right, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk very soon. Take care.